What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am very excited about today's episode because it's a continuation of two weeks ago, our episode that we did, finishing up a project for Roan, and this time, instead of New York, this was shot in our own backyard here in Utah. You're gonna enjoy that one. And then moving on, we have a really cool project with Takea, which is a well-known pickleball brand. You'll see more of that in the behind the scenes. What I really wanted to stress before diving into this video is how important relationships are. We were able to get these two big productions and do these really cool jobs because we have great relationships with different individuals. And these relationships were built over years of time, whether it was just through a connection on social media or something that was in person, both of those contributed to us getting these jobs. So I cannot stress enough, if you are a creative, if you're an entrepreneur, or you just wanna be a good human, having relationships and focusing on your relationships is the best way for you to succeed in life. So without further ado, enjoy our project with Roan here in Utah. What's up? <laughs> is this lab takes? We're waiting on the right polo to come, but we are out here in Alpine on a beautiful golf course. I'm not much of a golfer myself, but don't I look like one? Some practice swings with the audio. <laughs> just got done filming the very first shots of the Utah Roan ads. We shot two in New York, and now we're finishing up the last one here in Utah. How did you feel about our shots? Really one? good. Uh, Mike pulled in his friend James, who's just a complete animal out there. I mean, look, this was our backdrop as he was swinging. So, kind of hard to get a bad shot. <laughs> we did here. a lot of really beautiful push-ins that Parker just nailed 96% of the time. Probably my best work, so. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> now we're on to a barbecue shot where he's gonna be barbecuing with his kids, running around the backyard, showing the versatility of the shirt. So cut to that. All right, we are at the next set, doing the grill scene. Here's James. So what's up? Here's Rachel. Hi. Here is Chase. 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 All right, so we're here with Parker and we're setting up this next shot. So we've got the grill and then the scrim. Get that camera out of my face. It's gonna look great. Hey, you're not taking lab takes, so. Who's not taking lab takes? Yeah, so, so we're out here. <laughs> <laughs> You know it as summer. We call it the season of the polo shirt. Early morning tea time, try the golf sport polo. Casual workday, the commuter polo rolls with the punches and keeps you cool under the collar. Saturdays are for spontaneous moments and sweat wicking Delta PK polos. Or maybe you're just looking for total comfort. Enter the Cloud9 polo. Four of the best polos ever made, no wrong answers. All right, guys, can you believe that edit? I'm so dang proud of our team. And I actually was a little bit involved in this one too, which was a good time. I really think this whole piece came together because of our focus on the pre-production. The communication with the client was fantastic. We had a lot of back and forth. We knew every shot that we needed to get. Everybody really executed in their own roles as DP, audio, BTS, director, whatever it may be, everybody stepped up and made it happen. And it made all the difference. I just cannot express how important having a good team is. Now, moving on, 
This leads up to our project in LA with Takea. Due to some things that popped up, we weren't able to have our go-to DP there. Parker had to stay behind, hold down the fort for us. Mike was on vacation, so it was really all hands on deck. It was me, Austin, Ty, and we brought in our old friend, Danny Garcia Films. But go check it out, we're really excited. And we got to meet up with some cool friends while we're out there too. Uh, Can you believe it, we ran into family and friends right here at the airport. What's up guys? Or they're um, just bad. Yeah, yeah, again. But this time with an unfortunately fractured foot. Yeah, don't ask. APO. It was Bro, what happened? He was lifting and running simultaneously is how you explain it to me. With bad shoes, yeah. it snapped. So. Okay, so this is the beginning of our trip. We're headed to LA. We're gonna be working with two really cool brands, Takea and Vulcan out here. Both really big in the pickleball world. And we got a good crew with us, so pretty stoked. We're out of gate. We're waiting. That that is the update right there. Grayson went under our nose and bought another camera, so it's, I'm still a little hung up on that one, but he can do what he wants. Life's good, dude. I don't know why I didn't want to be out here. I just miss my girls and my boy, but life's good. I like being with my boys out here. This is good. All the boys. All the boys. Grayson, I'm so sorry. That's just. So shoot tomorrow. Uh, they want us to get there at 8 a.m. Makeup and hair are gonna be there. And we're gonna go through all the different products. We're, we're highlighting a backpack, a sling, multiple different sort of water bottles and colors. And then we're highlighting two different paddles. There's a pro paddle, and then there's an amateur paddle. I'm sorry, is that being funny? <laughs> we gotta get the basic coverage. We gotta get the, the clean, good stuff. But at the end of the day, we wanna make something that we're proud of and something that we're really excited about. So it's like, how do we get what we need to to do the job and then how do we go above and beyond? Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, what makes us different. Being outside the box, being super collaborative, obviously setting aside our egos. Yep. You're our director, we're gonna follow and do what you say but also as we have ideas on how we want to cam off something or whatever, make something happen, same thing. And if BTS wants to jump in, Whoa, dude. they should, and they can, and they <laughs> will. Yeah. All right, so for the pre-pro on this, we used a really cool software called Studio Binder. I was gonna say Shot Deck, dude. For pre-production, we've been using this really cool tool called Story Binder, which Studio, Studio Binder. Binder, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, for pre-production on this, we've been using a really cool tool called Studio, What's wrong with me? Studio I can't even say this. Yeah, we're using a tool called Studio Binder. <laughs> I can't even talk, bro. We're, we're using, using a tool a really cool called tool called Studio Binder. <laughs> Studio Binder is an application online that we can use for pre-production type stuff. Oh, I hate when he's so much better than I am. Though. Essentially, that's what we're doing. We're building out call sheets, talent list, shooting schedule, shot lists, all the things. It's very, very nice to use. And since we have so many different deliverables and different people that we're working with and all that stuff, Ty took the time and broke down every single shot we need to get. If we get those, we're 100% covered. Anything outside of that is just for fun and to spice it up. If you're wanting to get past just the run and gun showing up and figuring out what you're gonna shoot the day of, Studio Binder is amazing, especially when I was going through uh, creating the shot list. So when you get on set, you know exactly, no question in your mind, what the shot is gonna be, where it's gonna be, and how you want it to look. What's up everybody? We are at the hub right now about to shoot for Takia. The first half of the day we're gonna be shooting with the pros. Their names are Riley and AJ, the best of their kind. I'm very excited to, to shoot their stuff. We're gonna be shooting paddles today. We're shooting their bags, all their water bottles because Takia is primarily a water bottle company. And then we have a sling that we're gonna be shooting too to put the little water bottle in and, and freaking uh, just get your day started in the right way. But this morning the first thing that we're gonna be doing is shooting the bags. We got Danny and Mitch on camera today. We're gonna have Danny uh, on the Ronin primarily so we can get that nice really smooth shots and then Mitch is gonna do what he does best on this really beautiful handheld just milky creamy shit. dude we're excited Action. I'm on the sound hoodie season back around no more summer bounce little squeeze out squeeze see the indoors when we're falling down really have it the line at the table action I'm not your son, see I'm able, I do my own bits Limited edition, 
Sending us a missing classes I know that you're feeling it First time I'm proud of my selfish decisions Couple people did me dirty but I'm clean oh, this is so cool quick update so we just finished up with the pros and it was like overcast pretty much the whole morning and now we're switching over to the amateurs and then the lighting has now changed to be very bright so we're kind of switching things up we've been filming on the c70 danny has his c70 as well and as well as the red flew the drone around and crashed the drone we got the shots we needed right before we did that stop 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 it's been an amazing shooting day so far. We've had to get so much content, but the shots that we we're getting look amazing. Client's super happy. The, the place that we're shooting is incredible, uh, and the athletes have just been amazing to work with. I'm on the sound. Who do, you do some rocking back and forth too, and I'm on the sound. Who do you see? back around. No more summer bounce. Let squeeze out. Squeeze. Keep that indoors when we're falling down. That's a wrap. <laughs> and that's it. That's a wrap on this video. But before we end, I wanted to really impress upon you guys that not every production we do is this high caliber and this involved. There are sometimes we're shooting just boring talking head videos for a corporate company or a plain testimonial or doing an event recap. Nothing special. And I will say that it's taken a long time to get to this point. I started out with doing funeral slideshows or piano recitals or filming weddings. Really anything people would let me film and pay me to do. I did it. Not anything, but just about everything. So what I gotta say is like, continue to put in the effort and know that eventually this compound effect of your quality going up, the effort you're putting in, the relationships that you've been building will all start to come to fruition. The opportunities you have will get bigger. And really what we're doing now is just a result of years of effort from everybody's part here on the team, relationships we've been building, and it's brought us to here. So I'm very grateful for that, grateful for the team, and I'm grateful for every one of you. So that's it for lap takes. I feel like John Moran, need a triple double, told him check the stats, 